Hey, Terrell. I need you to take a look at my bush mower. This thing's a real lemon, eh? It's been nothing but problems since day one. All right, Skippy. What seems to be wrong with it? This stupid thing won't stay running, eh? I don't know what it could be. You mess with it. All right, all right, drop it off and I'll take a look at it. Okay, Daryl, I kind of need it back in a couple hours. I got a lot of grass to cut here. All right, all right, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Let me see what's wrong with this thing. <laughs> Nothing wrong as usual. Hey, that was quick, Terrell. You got me all fixed up? Yeah, Skippy. There doesn't appear to be anything wrong with it. I checked it over and it ran fine. That's odd. I couldn't get it to stay running. What do I owe you, Terrell? Hey. You don't owe me anything, Skippy. Okay, great. Thanks, Terrell. You're the best. Hey. Hey. It's still doing the same thing, Terrell. <laughs> Running and dying? Maybe there's something I missed. I'll have to look at it again. Yeah, I made one pass with it and it died right out. <laughs> okay, Skippy, I'll check it out again and I'll give you a call. Okay, I really need it. I got a lot of grass to cut. <laughs> for a while, make sure it's okay. You get it figured out, Terrell? Yeah, I figured out there's nothing wrong with it. I ran that thing out back for over an hour. Are you sure you're operating it right? Come on, Terrell, I've owned this mower for years. I think I know how to use it. <laughs> all right, Skippy, there it is. You might want to start it up, make sure it's all good before you take it back with you. Oh, it sounds great, Terrell. Thanks. There you go, Skip. There's your dinner. What? This thing's back again? Oh, I wonder what's wrong with it this time. Still doing the same thing? Skippy. Pterodactyl here. Today's how-to video is going to be how to change the drive belt on this here John Deere GX335. The drive belt. The one that makes the tractor move. It's got a double drive belt. It's like two V belts in one on this model. And Stens was the only one that had it aftermarket. 266233. 266? Two, three, three. And there's the John Deere number in case you're gonna go to Deere and get it. M142499. 499. So, to make this easier to view while we're doing it, we took the tractor and we got it standing up. Now, this isn't the safest way to do it, but maybe you have a barn where you got a big come along and a big I beam in it and you could stand yours up like this. Maybe you have that. So if you do that, what you need to do is turn the battery up. So I just disconnected the strap and flipped it off because we don't want the acid running out of the battery. And then take the gas cap off, put a plastic garbage bag over it, and put the gas cap back on so you don't got gas leaking out. And then of course, you know, you're gonna have to jerk your deck off, you know, before you get started so you can get access to where the belt is. And as you can see, this belt needs to be changed. So what we need to do first is get the tension off of here. You got this big giant spring. So chances are if you're doing this, you're probably gonna be laying on your back with the tractor jacked up with a floor jack. And you're like, 
Terrell, how am I going to get that big spring off of there? That looks dangerous. Well, we're going to leave the spring on. What we're going to do is we're going to use a ratchet strap. This is one of them little one inch ratchet straps. And we're going to put it through here. And we're going to crank down on it so it makes the belt loose. And we don't have to mess around with trying to take this spring off and then trying to get it hooked back on again. So I'm sure you could do this laying on your back. See? Now the belt's loose. Clicky there. Woo! Now we can get it off. So you're gonna need a 15 millimeter socket. You could take this off, this pulley. Okay. Got this spacer in it. And there's another one underneath. So you don't want to lose that. And this one's got a piece of piece of wood in there. Maybe yours doesn't. That's a piece of wood. So there's that. Got that spacer. You notice it's recessed on the back and that's for the square part of the carriage bolt. Alright, so we get that out of the way. And then you got to find the wire for the electric clutch and then of course this one's got a bunch of crap in there and I'm sure yours will too. So we can find the connector that's hidden. There it is, here's Mr. Connector. Sometimes these are hard to separate. So like I said, these things are tough to get off sometimes. So you gotta bend that tab back. And you know what works good? A pair of side cutters, because then you can grab it. And then just wiggle it back and forth until it comes apart. Because if you try grabbing it with regular pliers, they want to slip off. And my impact wouldn't take these off. So I gotta get a socket wrench. Because they're on there. Real hard. I don't know why. Ugh. See? I don't know why they want them that hard. So you can kind of, this one slides. So you just gotta loosen them up enough to get the belt off. So we're gonna wanna take it off the trans in the back here. And then you gotta get it around the fan. So you wanna get enough tension off of it to do that. You're gonna have to remove it off the trans fully. You're gonna have to do it by feel. You're gonna have to do it blind. So these fan, you know, blades on the fan, the trans fan, they bend. So you gotta bend them over. You gotta fold them over in the back and then work the belt off. And then once you get that worked off, then you can get it off. Now, one thing I failed to mention was after you jerk the deck off, because of course you're gonna, you're gonna have the hydraulic lift pushing the deck all the way down so you can release the pins. Once you get the deck off, then you gotta take that lever and you gotta raise the deck all the way up. You gotta set that gauge, your height gauge that's between your legs, you gotta set that at zero. So you can get the, the deck linkage all the way up. Because if you notice, this is the arm right here. See this arm? That's your deck, deck lift arm. And if you have it down, this arm is up here and it's going to be real close to the gas tank and you're not going to be able to get the, the belt past it because you got to get the belt past here. So remember that, once you take the deck off, grab the lever and raise it all the way up. Now if you got yours like on a floor jack, then you can jump on the tractor and do that. But we've got ours standing straight up. We wouldn't be able to do that right now. We'd have to let it down to raise it up. So remember that. I forgot to mention that. 
So now you can get the belt from around there. And then now you have to get it, this belt guide here. Got to get it out of there. Get it from around that. Now we can get it from around the clutch. See, it's a little tricky, this one. Okay, now, now we can release this strap. Now be careful when you release this because it's under tension. It could bite you. So be very careful when you're releasing the ratchet strap. When you're taking that tension off. All right, there we go. Because you can get pinched, you can get bit. You don't want to get bit. Now we have to get it around here. Now we could take, now we got enough tension off the spring, we could get it off by hand. Then we get a screwdriver. Come on, there we go. Now we could pop that off. Now we can get it around this parking brake arm. And voila, belt it off. Now we gotta start snaking the new one in. Start there. We wanna get around the upper part of the, of that parking brake, this arm here. And we'll go up around the engine. Back around that arm in the back. Make sure it's not twisted. Twist it sister on you. You don't D Schneider on you. This one's all twisted sister. There we go. Get it inside this guide again. Now you gotta reach down there. and fold up those fan blades. Again, you're gonna be doing this blind and get it around the back of that trans pulley. You can even turn it, turn it by hand, that'll help. There we go. It's on. So you gotta kind of walk it on. So you can do this. See what I'm doing here? Turning it like this. But you're gonna do it down here. Okay. There's that. 
Now we want to get this in the front here. Like so. Now we got to put that big honking spring back on. Now the little wiggly part was on the bottom. Now we got to get it up in there. So you, what you need is just a big screwdriver or a pry bar. Big screwdriver and a bridge it across here. That's how you help that on there. Now we'll put our ratchet strap back on so we can pull it. Loosen this up a little. Let's see. You gotta be careful. I gotta get the strap more to the outside of here. So I got some. I can get it down some more. Let me try this. Put the strap over through here. That way it'll pull to the outside. There we go. Yeah, we want it to really pull down for us. There we go. I gotta get it in there. Then I got to get it in here, see? So remember that, put it to the outside, it'll pull it, pull it harder for you. Then you can move this over in the slot. Tighten her down. And this one doesn't, this one's fixed. No, no, it slides too. Slide that one over. Close to the guide, but not touching. You got these belt guides there. You want it close. And our spacer with the recessed part first. Then we got the pulley with this on the outside. Come out. There we go. Make sure the belt's all the way on that idler. Then you got your belt guard. Oh, more money. More money. And then tighten that down. You're going to want to push this guide up because as you go to tighten it, it's going to want to come down with you. And you don't want it rubbing on the belt. So try to get it up as high as you can and then tighten it. And then as you tighten it more, it'll come with you. That way you know you got it nice and tight. And then you've seen how tight these were. So just go back and check them with a hand wrench. That's how you took them off. Now we can release our ratchet strap. Like I said, be careful. Sometimes these things, when you release them, they pop on you. I've got my fingers pinched many times. 
That's why I'm telling you, be careful. Make sure the belt isn't rubbing on anything. Another thing to always inspect is your V's, the V part of the pulley. Make sure there's nothing stuck in the V's. And another thing is to spin all your pulleys. Spin them all. Make sure they're not making any noises. Now I know I didn't do that when we were doing this, but Spin them and check them, because you may have to replace some of these. You got it apart. So when you had the belt off, give them a spin. Make sure they spin free, they're not making any noise. Because if they are, you might want to replace them. But these were all good. Now we can go ahead and hook our clutch back up. And then tuck our wire back in there. And I'm going to zip tie this. The only thing holding this in place was all this debris. It's another thing. While you're in here, you might want to clean all this. If yours has got all this junk all packed up in here, get in there and clean it out. It's on both of these frame rails. Look at that stuff. All packed up in there. Good time to give it a good cleaning. But this little tab here, this little plastic thing here, that's what this was zip tied to that. Because you don't want this flopping around, it'll get caught in the belt. It'll rip your clutch wires out. Look at this stuff, you gotta take a screwdriver to get it out of there. So this was a little keeper thing they had in there, I took that out. I'm gonna use that hole but for zip ties. And then I'll even use this other one up here. I want to keep that wire out of the way. I don't want it interfering with nothing, get ripped off. And then trim these off. All right, now we're ready. The letter down. Take her for a spin. Let's test her out. Think you can do it? Think you can handle it? I think you can, grass rats. I have faith in y'all. Carol has faith in y'all. So, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Carol fixes all. Ring the bell, get notifications. Ding, 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 ding. Jump on your lawnmowers and follow me. Come on. Oh, you want your lawnmowers that broke down? Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe. Uh, I already said subscribe. Go to our web store. Buy this Terrell apparel, because you want to look nice on your tractor riding around. Hey, look, Terrell helped me fix my tractor. Look, I got a shirt and a spark plug necklace. I'm a happening dude. And as always, there's your dinner! bring that lawnmower back here again. I can't find anything wrong with it, Junior. Yeah, Pa. That thing's been here like three or four times. That's like the recheck from... Hack!
I'm gonna grab some lunch in the house. You watch your shop. All right, Pa. No problem. Who's bothering me at my lunch? What? Not again! <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> I'm gonna have to take this thing somewhere else, Terrell. I don't think you can fix it. <laughs> Are you sure you're operating this mower correctly, Skippy? Yeah, Terrell, come on. I've never had a problem before. <laughs> Show me how you operate this mower, Skippy, because I got to see this. <laughs> See, Terrell? That's what it's doing. You never fixed it, eh? Skippy, you have to hold that bale down the entire time you're cutting. Oh, really, Terrell? I didn't think that was important. I've never used this mower. You said you've been using it for years. I never said I've used it for years. I said I've owned it for years. Hey, dear. No. I just need a spark plug for this mold. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got spark plugs. How many do you need? 